Greetings. Today we're going to use Bootstrap Grid to put elements side by side. Bootstrap uses a responsive 12 column grid system which makes it easy to put elements into rows and specify each element's relative width. Most of Bootstrap's classes can be applied to a div element. Bootstrap has different column width attributes that it uses depending on how wide the user's screen is. For example, phones have narrow screens and laptops have wider screens. Take for example Bootstrap's column dash md dash star class. Here md means medium and the star is a number specifying how many columns wide the element should be. In this case the column width of an element on a medium sized screen such as a laptop is being specified. In the cat photo app what we're building will use call xs um, and then star where xs means extra small like a extra small mobile phone screen. Then star is the number of columns specifying how many columns wide the element should be. So column XS, and then the star is going to be a number between 1 and 12 because we've got 12 columns. So if you did call XS uh, 4, you could put it next to another one with 4 and another one with 4, and you'd have three columns because 4 plus 4 plus 4 is uh, 12. Um, so put the like, info, and delete buttons side by side, nesting all three of them within the div class row element. And then each of them, and then each of them with a div class element XS4. Oh, cool. We're actually going to do that. Um, the row class is applied to a div, and the buttons themselves can be nested within it. Okay, great. This is a super useful tutorial. This is the kind of thing that you're going to run into all the time as a front end web developer. They're like, okay, I want these buttons to be on one row. So what do we need to do? Well, first we need to make this a class. Uh, a, we need to make it, we're going to put all of these within a div of row. Now, I think, yeah, and then we want to um, increase, we want to tab this out. Some people make the mistake of not tabbing things out, and I think it makes their code look sloppy and terrible. So let's not do that. What does the row do specifically? Okay, yeah, look at the way that what happens to the buttons. When we, uh, when we add the row, it makes it so that they fill this whole space here. Um, so now what we want to do is add them each to their own class, which is equal to a column. On, and on extra small screens, it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be number four. So we close the div here. And now our first button is in that position. You'll notice that it takes up... Um, one th uh, third of this space. And so now we're just going to do this to each element. Oops. Okay, number two is complete. And we'll do it to the third one. And this, once we do it to the third one, it fills the space properly. And I indent this. And yeah, the indentation. You'll notice in all my tutorials, I'm very, um, uh, I'm, I'm very detail driven on making sure that all of this makes it easier. Because when somebody else is reading this code, they can just see this is going to be a block of code, and that's why this is a block of of uh, of buttons, and they're each on the column XS small. And so uh, another thing that you'll notice is at a certain point, they'll the the buttons will start to stack like this. But um, because their XS is sm the, at four, um, that makes it so that uh, they stay that way. If we run the test, well, that passes. Now, it mentioned at an MD as well, right? So on medium screens, it does a specific thing. And I think that this one kind of describes it better. You'll see right now that even though we've got them into their separate columns, they have stacked out. But as soon as we get to a higher level, once we get to a medium screen, they go back to that way. And so that way, it's mobile responsive, right? Because right here is where we switch. This would be considered a, a medium screen. And then this is a small screen. And so this, this selectors cause it to automatically do that. And this is called being mobile friendly. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, oh, it changed. Okay, yeah. Uh, the MD is not what you, There's also LG. And then I think there's XLG as well. You can look on the documentation for that. But for this exercise, we want to make it uh, extra small. And then we run the test and that pass. Great. Hope you guys enjoy this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.